Here we have Donkey Kong on the ColecoVision. This game cartridge is from 1982, and believe it or not, many ColecoVision game systems were packaged with Donkey Kong. Can you imagine a Nintendo brand game being packaged with the Xbox or PlayStation 3 today? Back in the early 80s, Nintendo games found their ways onto many other game consoles, including the Atari 2600 and 7800. This version of Donkey Kong on the ColecoVision gives you four different difficulty settings. I started out playing at difficulty number one, which is the easiest, and I found it to be a bit too easy. It got repetitive a bit quickly, and the only times that I died were when I just accidentally hit a button at the wrong time and went flying off the side of something, or uh, was crushed horribly beneath a barrel. And I've heard this version of Donkey Kong is fairly easy compared to many other console versions, and compared to the arcade version. So I bumped the difficulty setting up to number 4, which uh, drops your extra lives to 3, and does make the game slightly more difficult. In particular, the attack patterns on the uh, sparks or the flame things seem to be more aggressive. Normally, the ColecoVision is the master of old-school arcade titles, but something is, something is missing in this version of Donkey Kong, and I've reviewed Donkey Kong several times on other game consoles. This version has very touchy controls, and you can push up or down twice on the ladders and your character increases speed. That's kind of neat, but you really have to push up or down at the exact precise moment to, to get on a ladder to climb up or down or else he just kind of hangs there for a moment. Sometimes pushing up twice or down twice didn't work quite as planned, and then you screw up your timing and get crushed. And there's just a couple other things that feel like they're missing from this version of Donkey Kong, which is kind of surprising for the ColecoVision. Usually, the ColecoVision dominates the Atari, and in many cases, the Nintendo versions of arcade games. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was remembering it correctly, but I kind of thought that I liked the Atari 7800 version of Donkey Kong a lot more. So I put it in after I played the game for this review, and sure enough, I do like the Atari 7800 version uh, a lot more for a home console version. The controls aren't quite as touchy, there seems to be a lot more variation in gameplay. The ColecoVision version gets a bit repetitive quickly. I'm not as familiar with the NES version of this game, so I'll have to get into that later. But this Donkey Kong game cartridge for the ColecoVision, if you want to collect this, it's very easy to find, very affordable, because there's so many of them out there. I've reviewed the gameplay of Donkey Kong before, so you should know how this game plays. It's a fun game. What's most surprising here is that the Atari 7800 version of Donkey Kong really outperforms the ColecoVision version, which does not often happen. For what it's worth, it is nice to see Donkey Kong in his own game here. I'm not a huge fan of the new style of Donkey Kong as he appears in Mario Kart and some of his other games on the N64. I like seeing the original old-school Donkey Kong, even if this isn't the best version of it out there. In traditional ColecoVision style, Donkey Kong does look nice. It has good high contrast visuals, it's bright, it's colorful. This just does not have the same wow factor that I get with Burger Time or Gore for Defender on the ColecoVision. Check out my Donkey Kong review for the Atari 7800. I think you'll see what I'm talking about. That's a nice version of this game. However, it should be mentioned that game cartridge came out several years after this 1982 release of Donkey Kong. Classic Game Room signing off, and see you soon for reviews of Donkey Kong Jr. on the ColecoVision, Atari 7800, and on the Atari 2600. 
It'll be like a Donkey Kong deathmatch. The losing game cartridge will have to play itself for all eternity.